There's a midrash in Shemot which says there was an Ashir, there was a rich father that was giving out food to his children. It was supper time, it was dinner time. He gave them out food and he started eating himself. And he saw his son not eating. And he says, my son, why aren't you eating? He says, daddy, I want the piece that's in your mouth. He says, okay, you want the piece from my mouth? Fine. Don't be disgusted, right? He takes the piece from his mouth and he gives it to his son. That's the Midrash. That's an analogy, obviously. What's the lesson? Hashem is taking things that belong to him and giving it to us. Do you want something more benevolent than that? It doesn't belong to us. If we have time, we'll see, we'll learn about the Tlat Yadayim, why we have to make Tlat the first thing in the morning. Why the Tlat Yadayim? Because nothing belongs to us. If you ever think that with your hands you were able to get what you wanted, nothing belongs to you. Everything belongs to Hashem. It's as if Hashem is taking things from His mouth, Kabiachol, He has no image, He has no form. But it's, He's taking from His mouth, from what belongs to Him, and He's saying, I share it with you. What do I have to do, Hashem? Very simple. Request. Like that boy requested from his father. Hashem, how do I request? Baruch. That's all it takes. Baruch. You say Baruch. In Arabic, there's a the word Fadal. You know what Fadal means? Fadal means here you go. You can have it. Is there a word like that in Farsi? What is it? Um, That's too hard for me. Fadal. Here you go. You can take it. Oh, that, it's so simple, ladies. It's so simple to connect to Hashem. 